join kids hat family hi i have lost my phone and cannot reach my parents can you please help me make a call home yes sure i can take you to the theater manager he will have a phone thank you Tia what are you doing we will miss the start of the movie we don't even know this boy you never know how important a glass of milk might be tofu what what are you talking about tia what glass of milk you'll know in a minute glass of milk Once upon a time there lived a young boy who was very poor. He did odd jobs to be able to buy his daily food and go to school. One day after school the boy was very hungry. have money today and i have no job lined up till the night how will i make it through the day maybe i should just have some water to fill my stomach so the boy decided to ask one of the houses in the neighborhood for a glass of water he knocked on the first door a young girl opened the door i am very thirsty Can you please give me a glass of water? Yes. Wait a minute. The girl saw the boy's condition and understood how hungry he was. Instead of a glass of water, she brought him a glass of milk. The boy was surprised to see the milk. I cannot take this. I do not have any money to pay you for it. It's okay. You don't have to pay me for it. Oh, thank you very much. The boy drank the glass of milk and felt better immediately. He thanked her and went his way. Many years went by. One day, the girl who was now a woman fell very ill she was taken to the hospital the tests revealed that she had a rare kind of sickness that would need great care for many months dr philip was assigned to her case don't worry we will take care of you thank you as he had promised Dr Philip took great care of her. He visited her daily. Stayed by her bedside at night. And made sure she was always comfortable. After 6 months of intensive treatment in the hospital, the girl was finally well and could go home. But she had a worry. She called the nurse to her room. I am healthy now, but I am worried. It is time for me to pay the hospital bill, but I'm afraid I won't have enough money to do so. Oh, you don't need to worry about it. Your bill has already been paid. What? By whom? Have a look yourself. The girl was astonished. The bill was cancelled across. And in big bold letters it said paid in full years ago with a glass of milk it was signed by dr philips the girl couldn't believe her luck 
Dr. Phillips was the young boy she had helped many, many years ago. Today he had become her saviour and helper. You never know how your one good deed can turn into another good one, Tofu. So never hesitate from helping others. Thanks, dear. I will always remember this now. Oh dear, what a mess you have made. Hi, Tia. Did you get me some chips and chocolates? No, Tofu. You're eating a lot of junk food these days. But Tia, I don't like eating vegetables and fruits. I love eating pizzas, burgers, fries, chips, cakes. I cook such healthy food for you every day. But look at you, eating junk food all the time. It's so harmful for the body and your health. Mmm, yeah. Tofu, clean this mess and complete your homework. I will, I will, Tia. Don't worry. Tofu, is everything alright? No, Tia. My stomach hurts so much. I feel sick. Oh, Tofu, I told you not to eat all that junk food that you've been eating since so many days. I'm sorry, Tia. But what should I do now? Don't be sorry to me. Be sorry to yourself that you're not treating your body well. Tia, but how did I feel sick because of food? You were eating unhealthy food. You haven't even been playing outside these days. Good food and exercise are so important for your body. Remember, what you eat is what you become. What does that mean, Tia? Healthy Eating Habits Once upon a time, there lived two siblings who loved eating junk food every day. They refused the healthy meals that their mother cooked for them. Oh dear, do you know that unhealthy food can affect your health? Joe, you will not be able to play football so well. And Jack, you will not be able to become a good runner if you keep eating all of this junk food. But mom, this tastes so good. I cannot eat these fruits and vegetables all the time. I will eat healthy food. I want to become a great runner. Yes, Jack. Eat healthy and you will see the difference. Joe, you too. Joe, come here. I'm sorry, but I cannot have you on the team. You are not able to play like others. But coach, I want to be on the team. I'm sorry, Joe. You can try next time. Jack, you have become so good at running. I'm sure you will take away all the medals this time. Thank you, coach. Tia, I will eat healthy food from today. I want to be like Jack. Yes, Tofu. Eat healthy food and exercise and you will see the difference in your health. Tofu, wake up. It's time to go to school. But Tia, the school bus arrives at 8 a.m. Tofu, don't you remember? You have to go to a school picnic today. The school bus will arrive a little early today for that. School picnic! Oh yes! I forgot about it. But can I sleep for 5 minutes more, Tia, please? You will miss the bus, Tofu. Come on, get up. Okay. Tofu, please hurry up. You're wasting your time. You will not be able to make it to the school picnic otherwise. 
I still have half an hour to catch the bus, dear. Tofu, time management is very important to achieve things in life. Now, what does that mean, Tia? I'll tell you a quick story as you get ready. Okay. Time is precious. Once upon a time, a boy named Oliver went for a hiking trip with a group of other people. Oliver wasted a lot of time and hence he missed a lot of things always. Boys, let's go. Or we'll miss the beautiful sunset at the top of the mountain. Yes, yes sir, let's go. Ah, uh, coach, I need some time to get ready. You should have been ready by now, Oliver. Come back fast, we're waiting for you. Uh, yes, sir. Ah, uh, Oliver, please hurry up. You're wasting your time and everybody else's time too. We can't wait for you anymore. I'm here. Let's go. Everybody is climbing the mountain while Oliver is lagging behind as he's wasting his time. Where is Oliver? I can't see him. Coach, he's resting there. Oliver, hurry up. Oliver gets up and walks towards the group slowly. Everybody starts moving too as they are assured Oliver is behind them. As everybody is climbing the mountain, Oliver loses track of the group again because he was wasting his time. He starts panicking as he was lost. He somehow finds his way and reaches the top of the mountain. But when he reaches, the sun had already set and everybody was walking down the mountain. Everybody else looked so happy as they had watched such a beautiful sunset. But Oliver starts crying as he missed it. Time is precious. It waits for no one. Once you start managing your time correctly, you will achieve a lot of beautiful things in life. That was a great story, Tia. I will manage my time and make it to the picnic. Yes, Tofu. Now come fast or you will miss your school bus. Good habits, bad habits. Hi, Tia. I'm home. Hi, Tofu. You know, Tia, I'm so tired today. We played hockey at school. You want some water, Tofu? Yes, please, Tia. <coughs> tofu, is this where you keep the glass? Uh, I'm sorry, Tia, I didn't notice. I'm going to my room to change. Okay, lunch is ready. Come to the dining room in half an hour. Alright, Tia. Here, we have some beans for you. Thanks, Tia. So, how was school today? It was good, but I feel a little tired after the hockey match. Okay, why don't you take a nap for an hour? Yes, you are right, Tia. I think I should take a nap now. Tofu, please keep your plate in the kitchen. <sighs> I'm very sleepy, Tia. I'll see you after an hour. What's wrong with this boy? Tofu, wake up! Let me sleep for five minutes more, dear. Okay, enough. I will teach him a lesson now. Oh my God, dear! What have you done to the house? What a mess! Tia, please stop. What are you doing? Tia! Yes, Tofu. What is it? Tia, will you stop doing this? What's wrong with you? You are doing the same thing too. Look at your room. It's an absolute mess. Uh, I'm sorry. 
I did not realize that it looked so unpleasant until I saw your belongings all over the place. It looks so messy and unorganized. I will keep my things in place now. That's what I was trying to teach you, Tofu. One bad habit often spoils a dozen good ones. Learn to stay organized and you yourself will feel good. Apart from that, you can adopt small good habits like holding the door open for someone, sneezing with your mouth covered, washing your hands before eating and always keeping track of time. Because once you catch hold of a bad habit, it develops deeper. I get it now, Tia. I will take care of all the things that you just told me. Thank you for making me understand this. Ten, twenty, twenty-five, forty-five. Wow. Tofu, you have saved quite a lot. Let's utilize this money to help someone. No, Tia, I will not spend this money. I want to become rich. But Tofu, money has no value till we use it. Come on, let me tell you a story. The Miser and His Gold Once upon a time, there was a miser. He hated spending gold, so he never used any gold he had. He had dug up a hole and used to bury the gold near the tree in his garden. Every day, he goes near the tree to dig it up. And look at the gold happily. <laughs> I am so rich. I own this much gold. This made him very happy. One day, a passerby saw him digging up. and happened to see the gold hidden by him. Gold under the tree? <laughs> I should wait till it gets dark. The robber waited till the night time to dig up the gold. He took all the gold buried under the tree. The next day, the miser came back to look at his gold. Where's my gold? Where is my gold? The miser dug a big hole where he used to hide his gold. But he couldn't find any gold in the hole. Who's 
stole my gold. <laughs> Listening to the miser crying, all his neighbors came running to his house. What happened? Why are you upset? The miser showed them the hole and told them everything about the gold he used to hide under the tree. Did you ever spend any of your gold? No, I would only dig it up. Looking at it made me happy. You never used anything at all. The gold was of no use to you because you had it in the ground. Just look into the hole and think that the gold is still inside it. Then you can be as happy as you were before. Neighbors started to laugh and left him with the empty hole. Now I understood it, Tia. I should utilize my money in something good. Yes, Tofu, because wealth unused might as well not exist. For your favorite rhymes, stories, and more, join Kids Hat Family. Subscribe here.